The companionship and the fun we've had in these classes has really brought me back to life again and I look forward to coming. Best Foot Forward really is all about developing people's strength and balance and along with that goes confidence as well. It's a programme of regular exercise which we do through dance and for me I think the key to it is that we layer up several elements so we're trying to think about everything to do with well-being. So the first layer really is that it's based on an evidence-based exercise programme which is all about building strength and balance so that people's functional movements are really good. They can get upstairs, downstairs, they can get up ramps, down ramps, get onto buses, things like that. The next layer is really all about, all about cognitive skills um, and because we're using lots of different dance styles and we're using lots of different stimulus, different music, different creative ideas, we're really challenging people. And then the next layer for me is the social layer which is really key I think. We don't dance on our own, we always dance in relation to, to each other, in relation to the group, always working with eye contact, with physical contact and also built into the programme are social aspects as well, so tea and coffee and chat and those social elements and those friendships and those bonds that have formed a really, really, really invaluable part of the programme. And then the last layer for me is the artistic layer, the expressive layer really. We're engaging people's imaginations, we're giving people an opportunity that you don't often get in older life to express yourself creatively. And I think a lot of the GPs that referred people onto this programme at the beginning Yes, they would have understood that kind of exercise layer that they were going to get, but they would not have thought that these participants would be performing at the International Agatha Christie Festival, <laughs> you know, on stage, learning new choreography and sharing that with the world. I'd been very ill. I hadn't been outside the house for three or four months. I couldn't even get the courage to go on a bus. I'm so fortunate that I had a doctor who was aware enough to invite me. And each Monday and Thursday, when normally I'd been sitting there thinking, have I got the energy to make a cup of coffee? I get up, I do all the things one has to do before you go out, try to look respectable, walk up the road to the bus, get the bus into town, walk all the way through the little lanes. The companionship and the fun we've had in these classes has really brought me back to life again. I look forward to the sessions every week. I know it does me good. I can now get down on the floor exercises and up. It makes me feel quite safe when I'm doing things. And I'm hoping that other people will get to know how beneficial it is for us when we're older to keep on having this exercise. I really so enjoy it and I feel very lucky to be alive. Everybody has become stronger. For example, floor work is such an amazing achievement for many of the participants that felt that they could never get up and down from the floor. And just to see them working in that way is really wonderful. The whole pilot scheme has been an enormous success. You obviously can't take away prescriptions, but the need for them will be lessened by people's um, outlook. You know, a lot of people are being treated for depression. That isn't really necessary if your, your heart is light. It will do a lot to help the ageing process. I think it will probably save the NHS quite a few hospital beds. It's so easy just to sit at home and think, that's it. But no, there's too much going on. I haven't got time to die. You know, I need to go on a bit longer. There's a lot happening.